What's going on my dudes, Chensley11 here and welcome back to another episode in the A to Z series. In today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to play Kha'Zix Jungle for beginners. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, and remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because we are going through every single champion in League of Legends and giving you a basic or beginner's guide on each of them. And today we've got Kha'Zix. So Kha'Zix is a fantastic jungler. Uh, he's an absolutely disgusting assassin, can absolutely one-shot um, champs, and you'll see that in this game. Um, quite a fun game. We have a little bit of a difficult early game uh, against the Pantheon jungle. He's quite aggressive early, uh, where Kha'Zix likes to farm early. Uh, but you can see we can turn it right around and absolutely shred him late, absolutely demolish him later on in the game. So I hope you enjoy. Um, before we get into the clear and whatnot, I quickly want to go over the abilities really fast. And if you're new to the videos, what we do is we'll quickly go through the abilities but then we'll cover them in a lot more detail later. So, so just if you're very new to Kha'Zix, you can see what, what I'm talking about when I'm um, going through the jungle clear. So the Q is a single target damage like swipe. Um, uh, it's an auto attack reset. The W sends out a, like a missile and if it hits and explodes, it also heals you if you win within the uh, burst radius. The E is a jump and the ultimate, uh, and then you jump and you land and you get uh, damage. And then the ultimate is like a on command uh, stealth and it gives you also movement speed. So again, we'll go through the abilities in much, much more detail later on in the video. But I just want to get through um, those abilities so you know what's going on. So when you're starting Kha'Zix, you want to start uh, red when you're on this side of the map or blue uh, when you start on the other side of the map. Um, you basically want to auto Q whenever you can. It'll just increase your clear speed um, as best you can. You take Q level 1, W level 2, and then E level 3. Um when you're doing the uh, Krugs here, you'd like to use your first smite on the big Krug. Try and eliminate that as... My Q... Krug there like that. And then uh, use your W whenever you can to get AoE damage. And then use your fight, like another W to absolutely clear out the rest of the uh, Krugs when they're all the little ones, as you can see right here. And then you go on to Wolves. Um, Wolves is a little bit... Uh, little bit of a uh, tips I'll give you about doing the wolves what you can do is you um, you W all of them uh, and then you you queue the big one wherever you can order the little ones each time once as you can see I'm doing here queue the big one whenever it queues off cooldown and then your W should and the burn of your smart item should be able to uh, clear out everything else as you can see like that just speeding up the clear a little bit uh, take E level 3 jump onto the wolves and then the rest of the clear isn't too uh, isn't too difficult. I mean, with the wolves, make sure you order the little ones once again, and then they should all die to the burn and Ws. Um, same, same clear uh, when you start on the other side. Um, you can smite the Gromp. I like to keep my smite for the Scuttle Crab, um, or you can smite it as well to make your clear a little bit healthier. Um, same goes for the other side. So that's the basic clear. Um, once you do your first clear, you can go back to uh, Krugs and go straight through again without your uh, buffs. But, and just try and uh, gank whenever you can after you clear everything. So normally what I'd do here is I'd go blue, gromp, and then go for the scuttle crab. But I see Pantheon ganking mid early. So I'm like, uh, I kind of want to get this scuttle crab. But I know Pantheon's here. So this is what I mean with the early um, early start. So I'm thinking maybe I can smite steal it. So a little, wasting a little bit of time here. But uh, he's probably got smite himself. I didn't pay attention if he used it um, on mid lane when he ganked or anything like that. Um, on a minion or something to stay healthy, but Renekton comes, so we say, okay, that that one there's doomed. We're just gonna back out here and go straight onto our um, back onto our Gromp. Um, you can clear a little bit faster. I'm not the best at clearing as Kazix. Um, you can clear fast and get to the Scuttle Crab just as it spawns or a little bit before. Uh, that will help out your clear a little bit better, but that's okay. So that's the clear, guys. Um, next, we're gonna go through uh, the runes uh, on Kazix, and I'll put them up on the screen. So Kazix. The best runes, obviously, to go is Dark Harvest. Uh, sudden Impact, for obvious reasons. He has a jump. He has stealth. Um, Eyeball Collection. Uh, Ravenous Hunter for the stacks. And then you want to go Absolute Focus. So while you're at high health, you do more damage. And Water Walking. So you're in the river more. Because you tend to be ganking a lot uh, between. And that'll give you a bit more vision. So we know Pantheon just took my other Scuttle. So we got double Scuttle this game. We still pull it off. So... Um, these things can happen, especially when you go into early jungle, early game junglers. I tend to ban Lee Sin when I play Kha'Zix, cause, um, or like Xin Zhao, those kind of early game junglers, because um, I don't really like uh, to to get absolutely demolished early game, especially when I'm playing Kha'Zix, because Kha'Zix is all about 
farming until you get your couple items and then you can start absolutely destroying. And Kha'Zix is actually fantastic at taking objectives and uh, that'll make more sense later on when we go through his passive and his Q. Um, but that's the runes, guys. Uh, for the little parts of the runes, uh, double offensive and then an armor. Uh, but that's not that too important. So, uh, next we're going to quickly cover the level up order. So, I, I went through it briefly in the, when we're going through the clear. But you want to max your Q. You want to also take Q level 1, W level 2, E level 3. Max your Q, then max your W. Um, and then max your E last. Take a point into your ultimate whenever you can. And when you level up your ultimate, you can actually upgrade your other abilities. And again, we'll go through this when we go through the ultimate later on in the video. Um, uh, but the level up order is on screen. Uh, for that, and that's QWE. So very, very simple. QWE for level up for max order and also for your evolution order. So very, very simple, easy to remember. Um, and now we're going to quickly cover the build. Um, so Kha'Zix has a little... All assassins really have a little bit of uh, variability with their builds. Um, it's very game dependent. But for the basic build, uh, Dust Blade, Rush, um, then you want to go Ionian Boots. And you can get the boots before the first item depending on your back timings. Um, Ghost Blade, second item, and then after that you can go, um, uh, you can go either Grudge or Edge of Night. Uh, Grudge is great against uh, people that are stacking armor, so in this game it would be like the Renekton, um, and then Guardian Angel and whatnot for later on. Um, but that's basically it, guys. Uh, you can also get a um, oh, the anti shield item. I did, I talked about it a lot in the in my Blue Cane video, so check that out if you haven't seen that as well. Um, serpents? Or is that the other one? I can't quite remember. The one that uh, cuts shields. So if they have a heavy shield comp, you can go that uh, after your Ghost Blade or instead of Ghost Blade, in fact, if you really, really want that. So, the beginning of Kha'Zix is a little bit boring, I'd say, because you're trying to focus on farming, trying to get the clears. And then once you clear, this is when I start to look for ganks. I'd not, I also, at the beginning of the game, what I did was watered my blue buff and then swapped to Sweeper. Because you're an assassin, I like to sweep and then jump in. Um, Missed my E, which is okay, because we end up getting the kill. First blood for us. Uh, wasn't the best. A Pantheon is here. Uh, we could probably kill him, um, but I actually just want this Scuttle Crab, because I'm annoyed he took the first two, so I'm going to back out. And not to mention these bloody uh, Teemo Shrooms making it difficult. And I wasn't sure if Teemo had Teleport. Um, so I'm like, okay, let's just quit this. Let's secure the uh, free gold here, and then we'll go back if the uh, Nasus is still rumbling with the uh, Pantheon. And there's the Teleport coming in. So... Um, Again, you can smite the shield off the uh, scuttle crabs. It'll make the clear of them much quicker. And you'll see later on in the game how fast you can demolish the scuttle crabs. Um, but uh, once you get the blue smite, because it does a lot more damage. So as you can see here, when I hit level 6 and I leveled up, you can see I got to evolve my Q, uh, making the Q stronger. And we'll get to that in a moment. Um, when I'm playing Kha'Zix as well, I like to try and pick who I'm going to be focusing ganking. And this is a jung jungle thing... Um, in general, I like to gank lanes that are already winning uh, because the gank is usually a lot easier and you can further the person who's already ahead and you can also shut down that player even more, tilting them, making them not want to play the game and it makes, your, it makes you get fed as well because it's easier to kill someone who's already behind. If you try and gank a, a lane that's like three or four kills behind, it's really difficult. You do get the shutdown bonus, but it is harder. So to gank those lanes, you need to be very careful and... Um, very deliberate with when you gank it can't just be random all right so again back to clearing and now we're going to start off with kazix's ability so this is what you're here for if you're new to kazix uh we're going to go through his abilities uh, so you know what you're doing when you're playing now generally kazix before we get th to the passive is he's the, the abilities are not very difficult to understand so um i think he's actually pretty easy to play the thing that makes him a little bit difficult for beginners is he's a bit of a feast of famine champion and saying that what i mean by that is because he is an assassin, if you're very far behind on an assassin, your, your game's over. It's very, very hard to do much. Now, Kha'Zix has a little bit of team fighting potential with his W when it's, when it's um, upgraded with the ultimate, but it's not great. Uh, there are much better team fighting junglers um, around. I uh, accidentally stepped into that track trying to auto it and get stunned here. Um, but that's why when I play Kha'Zix, I like to focus on farming a lot. That way I cannot be behind because i've got a lot of farm so i'm usually at a nice competitive level to at least delete some squishies so here we just lurk in bot lane i really wanted to shut down this bot lane um Jin is very immobile so he's going to be easy to gank but uh they had a lot of vision in that bush so we're going to go do the um uh, krugs here get level seven and maybe see if we can go back all right so now let's get 
going on the passive. So Kha'Zix's passive is called Unseen Threat. Now, Kha'Zix gains Unseen Threat whenever an enemy loses sight of him or activates his Void Assault. Now, his Void Assault uh, is his ultimate. Okay, so that gives you invis uh, invisibility. But just remember that Unseen Threat gets activated uh, when you use your Void Assault. And it causes his next basic attack against the champion to deal bonus magic damage, and that scales on AD. Uh, as you are building Lethality and AD, that's very, very good. It scales up, so you do more damage later on in the game. Um, and it also slows them for 25%. You can see how quickly we demolish that Scuttle Crab. Absolutely one-shot it. Um, and this power-up is you is is kept until his his next auto attack. And you can see just above my Q, in my hotbar, we have to jump out of there with my E, um, there's that little icon that's the same icon as my passive, and that means I have it up next, available on my next auto attack. So very, very simple passive. Um, the thing you need to understand with the passive is Kha'Zix loves to go in and out of bushes. Uh, that's why Dustblade synergizes well with him, because when you get a kill, you go invisible. And obviously his ultimate, you go invisible. So all these things reset your passive and make you do more damage. So we're going to jump in with the E. Uh, we get stunned. And you can see we go in and out. We get the Q still. In and out. I use my ultimate to get invisibility. Uh, Reget my passive. Go back onto the Renekton. Auto Q. Uh, get into the bush again. Reset the passive. My team cleans it up. We're just now we're just wiggling. We're dancing. We're on the dance floor here, dodging these Jin Qs, and uh, we just killed their jungler. The Renekton's probably their only big threat. So we're going to hop onto the dragon, and we're going to see how just how disgusting Kazix is at demolishing dragons. Um, and that's simply because the dragon is isolated, and that's part of his Q passive. And we're going to go through his Q right now as we finish off the dragon. So Kazix's Q is called Taste Their Fear, and it has a passive com component and an active component. And we're going to get one shot by the Pantheon. So we ended up dying, but that's okay. We got the dragon. Get our dust blade very, very early. 11.30 is fantastic. So the passive part of Kha'Zix's Q is called... Um, I don't think it has a name, actually. But it, it's, it basically goes like this. Um, Kha'Zix considers enemy, any enemies uh, that are isolated if they're not near any other uh, allies. Um, so this has that circle. There's like a circle around mobs uh, or camps. Um, you saw it around the dragon and isolated targets. Uh, it's like a purple circle that goes around him. I'll point it out next time it's on the screen. Um, um, and it counts for also jungle camps. So that's why the single target camps are much easier to kill for Kha'Zix. Uh, because of this. Um, and basically, attacks against isolated targets have special interactions with Kha'Zix's other abilities. So there you can see the purple uh, circle around the blue buff there, just near its, near its uh, waist. Um, and that's why, uh, that's that's what I'm talking about there. So again, it's on the Gromp there. Um, so remember that pa that's th that passive is part of his Q. Um, now, the active component of the Q, and we'll go through the different interactions with the isolated targets in a, as we go through the other abilities. It, it plays into all his other abilities. Um, so this is love perfect reason why I use uh, the Sweeper as well against Teemo. It's actually fantastic. Um, we can just get on top of him. Try and dodge as much many of these uh, shrooms as we can. We don't want to trip too hard, uh, but these these things poison us pretty hard. So once we get the kill, we just look immediately to go counter jungle and take as much XP and farm off the Pantheon as we can. Uh, let's take this red, and then I think we're going to go to his Krugs. Okay, so the active component of the Q is Kazik slashes the target dealing physical damage and increases to 110% if they're isolated. So essentially the Q does extra damage if, they're, if the target is isolated. So see the little ring there on the little Krug there? Um, so if you time it right, you can knock out the big Krug and then Q the medium one. Uh, that's what I try to do in my first clear. Uh, just speeds up the clear slightly. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to also explain the leveled up um, part of the ability as well as we go through. Because as we go through the abilities, it just happens that these, this is my personal favorite level up order. It's just Q, W, E, then R. So the upgraded or the evolved Reaper Claws um, basically has a passive. And it says that um, Kha'Zix gains 50% bonus range on his basic attacks and the Q itself. So you just get more um, range on the Q and your auto attacks. Plus, if the target is isolated, your Q cooldown is reduced by 45%. So once you level up your Q, you can absolutely smash single targets. Uh, and that includes dragons and barons and stuff like that. Because, because you're queuing a single target, the cooldown is halved almost. So you can absolutely shred through... Um, single target camps. You can see what right here. So auto Q. Look how quick the cooldown from my Q is. Back up. Auto Q. So you can absolutely demolish camps that are single target after you've leveled it up. And you can level it up at level 6 when you get your first point in your ultimate. So we've gone through the Q. 
Um, we take our red buff, we go straight for a gank. We're going to see if we can do. We pop our ultimate just for the movement speed and a little bit of invisibility. Um, I think we're going to throw out our W and back out here. So we didn't quite get the gin, which is unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. We put pressure and we get some, uh, we clear some vision. And in this game in particular, I remember I cleared a lot of wards, um, and which is actually very, very important for Kazix. As an assassin, you can't be seen, otherwise you're screwed. Because I'll just run away from you. Look at that scuttle crab. Did not last a second. Back into the enemy jungle. Uh, we're going to take out their Krugs. And then we're going to take out uh, their um, blue buff. I do remember the Pantheon getting on top of me. Uh, and and doing and making this a little bit awkward. But we're going to see what pans out. Pantheon jumps over the wall. Um, he takes the blue buff. Uh, but we end up just absolutely demolishing him with our auto cues And our W and our burn on our passive gets him. Renekton's joining the party. Flashes over. Uh, we're going to flash away from his uh, dash so we don't get stunned. We get rooted, but we auto Q him and absolutely demolish him. And then Jin ends up getting us with his Gale Force, I believe. Um, so for me, it's not it's worth because we got uh, a couple camps. We got a couple kills. Um, we did die and get the shutdown to the Jin, but that's okay. We're putting ourselves further ahead. The fir more further ahead, the more I can carry the game. All right, so next we're going to go through the W, which is Void Spike. So Void Spike... Um, is a very cool ability. It's your second max and it's your second um, evolution order. It's also your second uh, point that you take. So Kha'Zix fires a cluster of spikes in the target direction that detonate, detonate upon hitting an enemy, uh, dealing physical damage. If Kha'Zix is within that uh, explosion radius, he heals himself, okay? So the heal goes up uh, with level and uh, it also scales with AP, but you don't really build AP on Kha'Zix, so that's irrelevant. Uh, but the damage scales with AD, which is the most important because we're building full AD or lethality when you play Kha'Zix. Um, so that's basically all there is to know about the W. Uh, however, when you upgrade it, the Void Spikes fire three instead of one, which is fantastic, and it goes into a cone. The reason why it's fantastic is because you can hit multiple targets with it. Uh, they slow for 60%, um, and it reveals the enemy for the next two seconds. Uh, just keep in mind that if you hit the same enemy with all three W's, it doesn't increase the damage or anything. It doesn't give you increased healing or anything. Um, if the target is isolated, the slow is 90%. So you can absolutely almost stun someone with a 90% slow if they are isolated and hit your W onto them. After you've in, uh, leveled it up or after you've empowered it like we just did here. I believe the term is evolved it. So after you evolve it like we just did there, when we hit level 11, now we get the three prong W um, that does AoE. So it's fantastic. So next, we're going to go through the E, which is called Leap. Kha'Zix leaps to a target location, dealing physical damage. Um, you can use your Q while you're mid-leap as well, uh, like to, to like weave in some combos. Uh, now, the Leap, what I will say about the Leap is you don't really want to use this too often, and you want to hold it, especially when ganking. If you use it too early, they can just flash away. If you hold it and run at them, and they flash, then you can leap onto them. And if they have another ability, then you can flash onto them. Um, so try to hold your E as best you can. Sometimes I get a bit antsy and I just try to jump at them like I did with the early gank on Teemo. The problem is if you miss, you don't have your gap closer. But I know Teemo doesn't have a gap close, uh, like a dash, so we, we were okay. Um, so you can see that Evolve W, the slow was absolutely nuts. So we're able to get on top of Renekton. Uh, nice peel from the uh, Nami, allows us to get out. We use our ultimate to get out. And now we're just going to do all what assassins love to do, which is get around the side, uh, have a little look, see what else we can do here. Um, we'll, we'll finish off going through the uh, leap in a moment. As we leap onto the enemy, get the one on the, the Nico, and then cue the j uh, Jin to death. So a nice double kill. Eight, two, and two. Fantastic start to the game. Okay, so the evolved version of the leap is called Evolved Wings, and basically your leap increases in range by 200. Uh, the, cool, the cooldown also resets whenever you get a kill. So this is actually fantastic. If you can jump onto a target, quickly eliminate them and jump out, um, it's a fantastic... Uh, um, what's the utility spell? Uh, you can also take that as your second evolve if you like. I personally prefer the W uh, for the slow and the increased. It's easy to hit the W uh, if you take if you evolve that second. But that's just personal preference. I think the W is better to evolve second. Last but not least, we're going to go through the ultimate, which is called Void Assault. Now, as I was going through, as I mentioned earlier, every time you level up um, your ultimate, you gain an ability to evolve one of your other abilities. As we've been going through. Um, when you when you evolve an ability, it has like a two-second cast time, so you like freeze, so keep that in mind um, as we get on top of this fight here. So we go on top of the Pantheon and Renekton, hit them both with our E, smite, get another Q, auto-Q the Nico, get another kill, double kill here. So we're absolutely shredding this team. 
Uh, but basically, the ultimate, all it does is you become invisible for 1.25 seconds, uh, during which you gain 40% movement speed. After two seconds, um, or and after two seconds of leaving the invincibility, you can recast it uh, for the next 10 seconds to gain a second um, proc of that invincibility. As we jump onto the team, I get another kill. So we've absolutely clubbed this game. These guys have no chance. Um, the evolved uh, ultimate gives you uh, increased invisibility for like two extra seconds, and you can you got three charges of your ultimate. So that's all the abilities, guys. Um, Kazix is a very simple champion. I think he's very fun. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'm happy to answer them. Um, also, guys, I'm not the best player in the world, so the, the gameplay is not the most important thing with these videos. If you if there's anything you, you think I could have done better, uh, leave it down in the comment section below in the, in the game in particular. Always here to learn. Uh, your comment may help someone else who's trying to learn the game as well. So I'm happy to answer all those comments and see them in the comment section. Um, there was nothing really else I wanted to cover with Kha'Zix. Um, I think he's a very fun champion. Uh, when you get fed like we were in that game, it's a very, very fun champion. You can see what happens when you start to demolish the enemy team's surrender. Um, getting out of there real quick. Um, and we'll just check the... Got an S and we'll just check the damage done. I think we'll m most damage on the team uh, by a good amount there. So fantastic game. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy. Hit the like button. helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we've got Kindred next. Um, I'll double check. It's Kindred or Kled. I can't quite remember. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, at the end of the day, it is night time. Take it easy.